What's going on, everyone? Chris from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Los Angeles Angels versus Detroit Tigers Major League Baseball matchup going down Friday, June 28th, 2024. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, the games that I love, including my daily $19 best bet, make sure that you head on over to PickDogs.com and click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. Also, make sure you check out my 2024 Major League Baseball Grand Slam season passes for the betters that are betting $1,000 or more per game on Major League Baseball this season. But what it's going to get you access to is the waiting and rating of my plays for the first time. You're going to know where my biggest bets on the board are. It's also going to get you access to my nerfies and nerfies and my first five plays, as well as plays I make throughout the day based on things like line moves, money moves, pitching changes, and lineup changes. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, and that's the kind of bankroll that you're working with, text Grand Slam to 443-780-5663. We'll get you some more information. But let's get to this one between the Los Angeles Angels and the Detroit Tigers. The Los Angeles Angels sending out Zach Plezak for the start in this one, while the Detroit Tigers will counter with Kenta Maeda. And Plezak, you know, got roughed up by the uh, by the Dodgers in his last start. His first road start of the year, six runs allowed on seven hits, gave up two home runs over three and a third innings of work. And he's actually allowed two home runs in each of his two starts this season. So that is the concern for the Los Angeles Angels with Plezak on the hill. But... His first start at home was pretty solid. Three innings of, uh, excuse me, six innings, a three-run, four-hit ball. Said he gave up the the, uh, the two home runs. What's concerning for me is Plezak strikeout numbers. They're frankly non-existent. He's only had two strikeouts in his two starts, uh, one in each outing. And he like said, you know, you're you're not going to hold down you know much of a starting job if you can't even you know record more than a strikeout per start. But now you face the Detroit Tigers team that in the last two weeks is. 23rd in baseball and team OPS against righties. The isolated power numbers aren't great. They're in the bottom 10 in baseball. So are the Los Angeles Angels. But this is a Detroit Tigers team that at one point was smacking right-handed pitching. Now they're hitting just 226 in the last two weeks. Now, the Angels are only hitting 221, and they're pretty much in the same ballpark as the Detroit Tigers in the last two weeks against righties. Like I said, I like what I saw from Plezak at home. And you look at Kenta Maeda's road starts. I mean, his road form this season has been nothing short of brutal. I mean, last time he was out on the road, he gave up four runs in five innings of work against the uh, against the Houston Astros. He's got a 9.90 ERA on the road this season. It's just like I said, it's just been it's been hard to to stomach Kenta Maeda away from Comerica Park this season. You know, uh, five runs allowed in four and two thirds against the Red Sox. Seven runs allowed in two innings against the Cleveland Guardians. So for me, if there's a good enough spot for the Angels to get another feel good victory here after sweeping the Oakland A's. I think it's here. You know, we'll have to see how Thursday series opener goes. But for me, this is just a fade of Kenta Maeda more than anything else. The the Tigers' offense for me against righties just is not good enough. Even against maybe a guy like Zach Plezak, to think that they'll be able to counteract whatever mistakes Maeda makes here. If he was at Comerica, you'd have a lot easier time convincing me to back the Tigers here. But with Maeda's struggles on the road, like, in, like I said, the ERA just under 10, along with the fact that once he leaves, you know, the Angels statistically have a have a have, don't have a great bullpen but the tigers bullpen era over the last two weeks at 4.30 there's no there's not even much of an advantage there either so give me the los angeles angels we're getting the better price with them at home here and that's going to be my free pick but just a reminder if you haven't already make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up and if you're looking for my best bets you can find those at pick dogs premium while you're at pick dogs check out our betting tools they're 100 free they're the best betting tools in the business and tools that you want to make sure that you have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.